All right, welcome back. It's now 544. The Mac is opening up its first round of new exhibitions since the pandemic started. From pop art to a collection of wartime portraits, the Mac is excited to debut these new pieces to the public. Destin Richards is live at the museum to tell us what you can expect there this fall. The MAC is preparing to open three new exhibits this weekend, the first since the Pompeii exhibit closed last month. Pop Power from Warhol to Coons leads the lineup, featuring a collection of iconic prints from the Jordan Schnitzer Family Foundation. This exhibit features an array of pop artists that have defined the art world over the last 50 years. Also opening this weekend, Music Finds a Way, the Spokane Symphony. This exhibit celebrates the symphony in its 75th year and portrays the history <clears throat> and contributions it's made to Spokane's culture. Bomber Boy's Portraits from the Front also opens this weekend. It's an historic collection of portraits and imagery depicting a bombing squad in World War II who happened to be from Western Washington. The squadron was the basis for the very popular book Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. And so it's a nice kind of uh, historic exhibition. And I think everybody will feel very grateful for what those, um, what those pilots and what those airmen did. These three exhibits will open to MAC members tomorrow and open to the public on Sunday. Another World War II exhibit, American Inheritance, Unpacking World War II, will open on October 10th. All visitors are required to reserve a time in advance, wear masks, and social distance inside the museum. For more information on these fall exhibitions and to reserve your time to visit, see this story on KXLY.com. Reporting live at the MAC, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now.